Example 10. Compute the normal depth of flow for the following sections having the same discharge of 4.8 cubic meters per second and material characteristics and slope of 0 0.0008. The roughness coefficient n is 0 0.014. The sections are to be rectangular with bottom of width 2 meters, triangular section with apex angle of 70 degrees, trapezoidal section of bottom of width 1.8 meters and side sloping at 50 degrees to the horizontal. So we'll use the formula Q equals area to the 5 thirds S to the 1 half over N perimeter to the 2 thirds. So that will only compute for area and perimeter. The area rectangular is 2 times depth. The perimeter is width 1.2 plus 2D. So substitute into this equation 4.8 equals 2d to the 5 thirds times 0 0.0008 to the 1 half over 0 0.014 times 2 plus 2d to the 2 thirds. So simplifying 4.8 times 0 0.014 times 2 to the 2 thirds divided by 2 to the 5 thirds divided by 0 0.008 to the 1 half. So that what is left in the numerator is d to the 5 thirds in the denominator 1 plus d to the 2 thirds. So 1.188 equals d to the 5 thirds over quantity 1 plus d to the 2 thirds. So using your calculator by trial and error, if, if high tech calculator is not allowed, but if allowed, then you can solve for d. d is 1.633 meters from this equation. Then triangular section with apex angle 70 degrees. So this slanted side, uh, this is 35 degrees, so cosine 35 equals D over this slanted side. So this is D over cosine 35 H. So that the area is one half product of adjacent sides, D cosine 35 degrees, quantity square, sine of 70. So area is one half of quantity D over cosine 35 square sine of included angle. Remember area of triangle is one half product with the acid side sine of included angle. So simplifying that's 0 0.7002 D square. While the wetted perimeter is simply 2 times D cosine 2 times D over cosine 35. So in decimal 2.442 D. Substitute again into the formula 4.8 equals 0 0.7002d square to the 5 thirds point C times 0 0.008 to the 1 half over 0 0.014 times quantity 2.442d to the 2 thirds. We can solve this easily. 4.8 times 0 0.014 times 2.442 to the 2 thirds divided by 0 0.7002 to the 5 thirds divided by 0 0.0008 to the 1 half. So simplifying that 7.803 equals D to the 8 thirds. Therefore, the depth is 7.803 to the 3 eighths. So D is 2.161 meters. Then for the third trapezoidal sections, so bottom of V1.8. So this is the depth, side sloping 50 degrees. So that's also 50 degrees. I'll call this X. So that tangent of 50 is d over x. So that x is d over tangent of 50. So this slanted side sides again are each d over sine of 50. So the top width therefore is 1.8 plus 2x, so 2d tangent 50. So this is d sine of 50 because sine 50 is d over hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is d over sine 50. Same is true with this. So that the perimeter is 1.8 plus 2 times d over sine uh, 50. So the area is 1 half of top with 1.8 plus 2 d over tangent 50. Bottom with 1.8 times depth. So simplifying area is 1.8 d plus 0.8391 d square. While the perimeter is 1.8 plus 2 times d over sine 50, in decimal 1.8 plus 2.611 of d. 
So, substitute into our formula here. 4.8 equals 1.8t plus 0.8391d squared raised to 5 thirds times 0 0.0008 to the 1 half over 0 0.014 times quantity 1.8 plus 2.611d to the 2 thirds. So, simplifying 4.8 times 0 0.018 divided by 0 0.0008 to the 1 half, that's 2.376 equals 1.8t plus 0.8391d squared to the 5 thirds over quantity 1.8 plus 2.611d to the 2 thirds. Solving for d with by trial and error or by high tech calculator, so d is 1.140 meters. So that's it for this problem.